The biggest trade agreement in history is at stake in a vote by Congress next month. And California is one of the states most impacted by the outcome. KCRA3's Edie Lambert will be interviewing President Obama about the trade deal tomorrow. Tonight, she's in Washington, D.C. with What's at Stake. We're seeing an unusual political alliance here at the Capitol. President Obama teaming up with Republican leaders to fast track a huge trade deal. And two Sacramento area lawmakers are at the center of the political firestorm. <laughs> President Obama's biggest argument for the Trans Pacific Partnership is that it establishes the U.S. as a leader on an important world stage Pacific trade. The agreement would promote trade among these 12 Pacific nations. Business and farming leaders expect it could lead to billions of dollars in exports as they find new markets. But labor unions, environmentalists, and consumer groups worry about impacts ranging from losing jobs to importing dangerous products. That's why most Democrats oppose giving the president fast track authority on the deal. Sacramento Congressman Doris Matsui is one of just a dozen undecided Democrats, and the lobbying is intense. I've met with the trade representative, come to my office, we've gone to many briefings. We've gone to many briefings, and cabinet secretaries calling me, and everybody else calling me, and going to the White House and meeting with the president. It still is not to the point. I do not deal very well with talking points on either side. Elk Grove Congressman Ami Barra took a political risk by supporting the president on fast track. The Democrat is now in the unusual position of being a target of a union campaign. But he says he took that risk because the Sacramento region will benefit. If we can get this trade deal correct and open up these markets, it could be a boon for both California and Sacramento's economy. You'll hear competing numbers from each side. Here's just one example for our region. Numbers from the White House indicate Sacramento has benefited from NAFTA and other trade agreements with $1.2 billion in exports to those nations in 2013. But the numbers from the California Labor Federation show 11,900 jobs lost due to NAFTA and other trade agreements just in Ami Barra's district. These jobs, these lives, they're, they're not just collateral damage in a political debate. Uh, this, these are real people who are trying to make their mortgage, who are trying to take care of their families. I'll be asking the president directly about the impact of that trade deal on California in a one-on-one -on -one interview coming up tomorrow. A full report on our News at 5 on My58. In Washington, D.C., Edie Lambert, KCRA 3 News.